Good morning, everyone. And、uh, let me be the first to greet everyone a Merry Christmas.、Uh, thank you for having us today. And、um, I think we're just going to introduce my family here.、Um, my husband is Ezer Lenau. I am Imelda Lenau. And April, I would like for you to stand because after this, they're going to play the song. April is 15 years old.、Uh, she is a sophomore. And、uh, Shelney is ninth grade. And、uh, yeah, they, they go to the same school at Cumberland Academy in、uh, Tyler, Texas. So we are so happy to be here and thank you for the opportunity. And where's Miss Julie? All right. So、uh, we are. Happy and、uh, thankful. We praise God for this opportunity to share the message of Jesus through songs. And we will have the first、um, song, which is a violin duet for the two girls Christmas Joy Medley.
So we are going to sing as a family. We're going to sing um, most of the th- things that we're going to do now are all vocals. So we'll have um, birthday of a king. And then I'll just say the next songs. I could never out love the Lord. Next is satisfy your soul. And then uh, Ezer is going to speak a little bit why our group exists and then next is where could I go and then another violin and piano duet by the way here gospel medley to God alone this piano violin and onward Christian soldiers and the last song is a quartet again so In a little village of Bethlehem there lay a child one day. And the sky, and the sky was bright with a holy light for the place where Jesus lay. Alleluia. wonderful gift that the Son of Man came to earth to die for us, to save us from all our sins. So we are so happy for that because we have um, the eternal life that God has offered for free to each one of us. So we have to grab that uh, free gift of salvation. So God loves us so much that he gave his only son after his birth, he died. So the next song is, I Could Never Outlove the Lord. Can we outlove the Lord? All right. to live the way he wants me to live I'm going to give until there's just no more to give I'm going to love love till there's just no more love I Love the Lord. There have been 
times when giving and loving brought pain, and I promise I would never let it happen again. But I found out that loving was well worth the risk. And that even in losing, you win. I'm going to live the way he wants me to live. I'm going to give until there's just no more to give. I'm going to love, love till there's just no more love. I could never, never out love the Lord. He showed us that only through dying we live, and He gave. Was nothing to give, but he loved us when loving brought heartache and loss. He forgave from an old rugged cross. I'm going to live the way he wants me. song is Satisfy Your Soul. The world may try to satisfy that love soul. You may search the wide world o'er, but you'll be just as before. You'll never find true satisfaction until you found the Lord. For only Jesus can satisfy your soul. Change your heart and make you whole. He'll give you peace you never knew, sweet love and joy and heaven too. For only Jesus can satisfy your soul. If 
you could have the fame and fortune, all the wealth you could obtain, yet you have not Christ within. Your living here would be in vain. There'll come a time when death will call you. Riches cannot help you then. So come to Jesus, for only He can satisfy. Satisfy your soul, only Jesus can satisfy your soul. Sabbath once again, brothers and sisters. We are uh, so thrilled to be able to see you this morning. Um, we were invited like five, five months, six months ago. And from that time on, we started to feel excited to be able to see you, to be able to see the place. And then, of course, we prepared on top of the academics. They have homeworks, they have exam, but I told them, please prepare. Remind the girls, because we have a very special appointment. This is a sermon, a sermon to music, and we don't take it lightly, because we are to deliver the message from above. So with God's help, we are able to be here. You know, more than a week ago, these girls could not sing. They were tested positive for flu. I said, my Lord. It happened, I think, three years ago. We had an appointment set for December, but they were sick that they could not sing. We had to cancel that appointment about three years ago. But last, more than two weeks ago, same thing. But three days, it went away. And I said, praise the Lord. This is a sign that the Lord is going to send us for a mission in Mount Pleasant. And we are here to deliver the message. And it is our prayer that if is, there is one soul that is going to be touched by the message in music this morning, then I would say, praise the Lord. Amen, Amen for that. And again, this is a beautiful place. No wonder why this is called Mount Pleasant. <laughs> this is very wonderful. And um, I will just want to tell you a little bit about how we started. When these girls were little... Uh, we noticed that they have the gift. And from that time on, when they were not able to think what music uh, ministry is, I started to pray that the Lord is going to use them in a very special way. And I believe, I fully believe, with all my confidence, that the Lord is using them, using us through the little talents that the Lord gave us. We have been singing... How long ago? When they were still little. And that right now they are 14 and 15. We keep singing. And hopefully when they will be in their own, I hope they will, these girls will continue singing. And uh, by the grace of God, we were able to share the blessings of, of course, music that the Lord has given us. And at the same time, we are able to help um, students in the Philippines, because when we go to churches, when we sing, um, people are asking, what are you singing for, other than, of course, inspiring us through your music? And I said, well, uh, at the same time, we help sponsor students in the Philippines to achieve 
Adventist education. And Adventist education to me is very powerful. Um, I taught in the Philippines before I come here to the U.S. I taught for about eight years as a fifth, sixth grade teacher. And I have that burden to help young people to be nurtured in, in, a, in the form of Adventist education. And so when we visited in the Philippines years ago, we saw a school. It is a school from K to 6, but it is a boarding school. Boarding school meaning to say they, students who come from far-flung places, but because of love of Adventist education, they have to stay. Boarding school. So think six years old, seven, eight, nine-year-old students are in that boarding school. And who takes care, who take care of them? Maybe their big sisters in the fifth grade, sixth grade. And then, of course, with volunteers of some parents taking turns to oversee these girls, these students. They cook their food. They wash their own clothes. To me, I saw the dedication of these students and also the parents and, of course, the school also to promote Adventist education that even non-Adventist students are coming to that school. And so my family just decided to help them. Whether we have money or not, we will help them. And by God's grace, it's now about three years that we are able to support 20 deserving students to achieve, to avail Christian Adventist education. And last year we visited them and we saw them in the church. They are all in the church trying to entertain us with what they have learned in school. Memory verses, their songs, their music, they're very wonderful. And so I promised the education department in Davao Mission, where the school is, that we are going to continue to support this, uh, these kids until they are able to finish elementary. And after that, I don't know yet. So we are here this morning, and as what I have said, we are, in, we are inspired by the music. When we drove in to the parking lot, we saw the verse in, in the signage. That is Isaiah 9, 6. For unto us a son is born, unto us a son is given. That is the essence of uh, the season, brothers and sisters. These girls were saying, Daddy, it's time to erect Christmas tree. So we made, we made Christmas tree. To me, I don't care. And then they said, Christmas tree is not enough. We put lights. I said, well, that's another money. But anyway, we bought some just a little bit during in the dollar store or the cheaper ones. So right now, when you pass by Tyler, our small house is there. It has Christmas tree. It has lights. But those are wonderful. But the essence is the Lord is here with us. In um, John 1, John 1, 14, it says, The Word became flesh and dwelt among us. Our first song, our first Christmas song sung by the group, The Birthday of the King, meaning to say Jesus Christ was born. Jesus Christ was born in the manger. How about the manger in our hearts? Is Jesus really born in the manger of our hearts? That is the question that for, for each of us to answer this morning. Our song, our next song is is titled, Where Could I Go? We can go anywhere in our daily activities, in our endeavors each day. We have many ways to follow. But this song is saying, where could I go but to the Lord?
Um, our next song, it will be Onward Christian Soldiers.
it for this morning and we will turn over the microphone to whoever is doing the closing prayer thank you dear Lord I want to ask you to bless everyone here again Lord thank you for this beautiful music you've given us very talented people I want you to bless them Lord as well as well as everyone else that's in here Lord Take care of us throughout this whole day, Lord, and we love you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.